so I decided to do a story time today. So I blame both of my nieces for this because I told them a story um, and they were like, auntie, you know, you should do story time. So I was like, hmm. So today I'm going to do a story time about that time I dated Michael B. Jordan in high school. Okay, so while we have a story time, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a little makeup on my face. My eyebrows are basically done. I just um, I just wiped up my face, you know, cleaned up my face. Um, but I'm just gonna do just a little bit of touch up of some makeup, and I'm going then I'm going to tell you guys the story. Okay, guys. So I can't help my neighbors upstairs. They are bugging. It's like nice, cute family, but gosh. So a little pines on my face so um yeah so I was in high school and um if we had a basketball game it was uh, my high school uh, versus his high school uh, which most people would know ours high okay so um, me and my girls, you know, we went there to cheer on our school, we're going against their school. And, uh, you know, we were sitting in the bleachers. So, after the game was over, I'm, I'm on a, I'm on a, uh, I'm on the court right now, on a basketball court, waiting for all of our girls to, like, get together so we could leave. My girlfriend come over. She, like... Tashia, Michael Jordan want to talk to you, girl. I'm like, who? She's like, Michael B. Jordan. Uh, he on? You know they always got to say everything that he do. You know, he, he played in hardball and he on all my church. I was like, oh, I was like, no, I don't really know. But, okay. But I'm like, okay. Here come this handsome guy walking over to me with a nice smile like, Hey, what's up? I was like, wow. He was tall. He was handsome. Nice complexion. Beautiful teeth. Nice smile. He had braids at the time. And I was like, just blushing like, hi. Like, okay. Well, like, where he, you know, I guess he saw me during the game or whatever. He saw something he liked. So, I gave him my number. Don't judge me, guys. I did not have a cell phone at the time. Blame my mother. So, we started talking and um, I remember the first time he came over. He came over, he didn't have, he had a car but he couldn't drive his car yet. I don't know what was going on with his car. But he couldn't drive his car yet. I guess he was waiting on paperwork or whatever. But he had a BMW sitting in his backyard, or you something. Well, not for you something, because he worked for it. At this time, he was on all my children. So, um, he came to me and his parents' uh, minivan. It was a white minivan at the time. And he pulled up with his little brother in the back. It was so cute. No, his little brother was in the front seat, actually. And I came outside on the porch, and we were talking. His little brother, I was just like, hi, you know, hi. <laughs> just young. <laughs> and just crushing on this handsome guy. He crushing on me. So, um, he didn't have his car yet, but... We, we was, you know, we were still talking and then one day he was like, yeah, can I um, ask your mom to come out, whatever, like, um, I got Joe Button car. I believe it was Joe Button. Joe Button let him use his car. It was some fast two-door silver car, whatever. So he came and scooped me up and we just drove through Newark, like, a, through a couple streets. Greasy was sweet and, you know, trying to, like, show off a little bit. And then we went back to my house. But it was cute, it was dope. You know, I was young and like, um, I'm a Joe Biden girl. I believe it was Joe Biden at the time. So,
my neighbors are wildin'. I'm so like, I'm so over this. Don't move to the, don't move on the first floor, guys. So, don't judge me. Please don't judge me. Y'all gonna judge me anyway. Mind you, I was in high school. I was young. So, I had a boyfriend. I had a boyfriend, okay? And um, I remember being on the phone with Michael on a house phone, okay? On the house phone. And he was like, I want you to be my girl. I want you to be mine. <laughs> I was like, okay. Because right. I really was feeling him. Like, I really was feeling him. He was just so handsome. And then, you know, at the time, the, the girls was like, oh, girl, you, you better, you know. You better date him. He cute and he famous, blah, 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 blah. But it wasn't about that. Like, I really did like him. I liked our combos. I liked, I liked him just being around him. So he was the cool dude, whatever. So, I told him, okay, I broke up with my boyfriend at the time. And yes, I did hurt my boyfriend's feelings. Um, I really, like, I mean, when you look at things like that now, like, you look back, like, damn, I was young. I wasn't really... I don't feel like I should have been in a relationship, okay? Let's say that. I was in high school, and anyway, I, you know, I did, I broke up with my boyfriend. It was mean. I broke, uh, I did hurt his feelings. Um, and I apologize. I, I apologize to him for that if I caused him to blame the next female for, you know, being hurt. But, um, I did, um, I did do that, but I was young and I'm gonna blame it on that, period. So, um, me, and, me and Michael, I was like, okay, I broke up with my boyfriend, so you're my man, <laughs> basically. That's what it was, he was my boyfriend, right? Um, I put, I remember walking through the high school, <laughs> walking through the hallways with Michael Jordan on the back of my notebook, like her stuff, and it was just, I was just too much, right? So, what happened was, I had a best friend who lived, not too far from me, but it was a nice little walk, but I would go to her house often. So when I would come home, my mom would be like, oh, you just missed Michael, he came by looking for you. He said every time he come, you're not here, you're never home. And I didn't have a cell phone, <laughs> so it was like, it wasn't my fault, I didn't have a cell phone. So I missed him many times. And when I would try to call him, like, um, I believe I was calling his house phone. I don't even remember, to be honest. But um, no, he did have a cell phone. I'm lying, he had a cell phone because he would call me when he was getting his hair braided and stuff. <sighs> so that was my little boo for some time. Um, so there's a picture that I have, right? My mom, let me tell you, she be ready. She be, he called her mom. She loved Michael, but uh, she had the little. At this time, it was the cameras that you take pictures and you go get them developed, right? It wasn't like cell phone. These nice picture photography uh, photographer pictures nowadays. It was just a nice one of them cameras that you get developed. And she came out. Me and him was downstairs talking. And she was like, y'all take a picture, come take a picture. So um, he grabbed me and we took a picture. <laughs> and she still have it to this day. So that's the picture I'm gonna post to you guys. Like it was, you know, like it was the, we were cute. We were cute. I'm gonna just say that, we were cute. Um, but we did. We fell, we just went our separate ways. Like, he would try to see me, I wasn't home, and it just slowly but surely uh, just went like that. Um, I still have love for him, you know? I'm happy that he made it. I, I knew he would. You know, at the time he was on All My Children and he, he was a good actor then. I used to watch him on TV. That's about it, guys. I mean, it was for a short time, but it was fun.
Did we kiss? Of course. <laughs> little, little high schoolers, you know, like, of course we, we kissed. I'm sure he had many girls other than me, but he did. He was feeling me. I can tell you that much. He was feeling me. I haven't seen him since then. It's been years, you know, he's like Hollywood now. But he has many more girls out there that have stories. But mine, I decided to tell mine because I was in high school. It was like the, it was the immature. That's why I said I would do it. Because it, it was immature. It was immature. It wasn't like I was 20 and we was just doing all that type of stuff. And he was hurting me and dating all them girls. No, it was immature. You know, he was on his way going up. And he was my boo. I could say that again and again. He's still handsome. Who? he's still fine. And I'm still cute, so. But, um, yeah, guys. I just dazzled myself up a little bit. Please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. And like this video if you like it. If you don't like it, Keep that negative energy to yourself, okay? I don't need it. There's other videos on YouTube that you could thumbs down. <laughs> Say, nah, it's okay. I'll take the negative criticism any day. It makes you better. It's gonna give myself a little shimmer just because I did my makeup and it's crazy because it's late. I don't know why I'm doing all this. Oh. I don't want no blowy nose like that, but that's okay. Like a pop. Take a few pictures with this look. I'm gonna brush out my, my eyebrows a little bit. Yeah, guys, but this was my little story time about Michael B. Jordan and um, how I dated him in high school. Uh, I hope you guys found this a little bit of me. But, um, yeah. Uh,